Okay, let's take a look at our next homework problem. 65 divided by 5. 65 is also a two-digit number. I'm going to make my rectangle. I'm going to split it into two pieces. One piece has a 6, the other one has a 5. Notice that I always put them in the same order. So if it's 65, the 6 goes in front, the 5 goes in the back. You never just put the numbers wherever. They have to go in that same order, like a place value chart. And this time, I'm not making three groups. I'm making five groups. 65 divided by 5. Since I'm making five groups, I'm going to write my five times tables here on the side. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And again, I am always writing down those number songs, or in this case, the number pattern, the times table. So that way, while I'm doing my division, I can use this to help me out. If you can sing the songs or you know the pattern in your head, that's fine. This just makes it a little bit simpler, and it makes it so I don't have to keep remembering the threes or the fives if I have more than one problem that's dividing by 3 or dividing by 5. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the first box here. My first box has a 6 in it. I have 5 groups. If I go around to every single group and I give them one piece out of this box, I would need to give away five pieces. Jadine, do I have enough in this first box to give away five pieces? Me? Mm hmm. Do I have enough in this first box to give away five pieces, Jadine? Yes, yeah. because there's still going to be one remaining. There's still going to be one remaining. Okay, if I go around, Jadeen, and I give every group a second piece, that would be 10. Can I give away 10 pieces from this box? No. No, there's not enough. So I can't give them two pieces, but I can give them one. one. Piece. So they all get one piece from this box. If I went to my five groups, and they all got one piece. We said that means I have to give away five pieces. So let's take those away. Let's subtract. So let's subtract five from six. Mm hmm. Six minus five. What would I get, Jadine? One. One. And like the way you said it earlier, I would have one piece remaining. That's a fantastic yeah. way to put it. And again, I can double check my work here. I have one piece left, but I have five groups. Since one is smaller than five, I don't have enough to give all of my groups another piece. Yeah. So I know I did as much as I could. Then I'm going to bring my one up, and it's going to hang out with my five. So that makes 15. Yep, 15. All right. So Ezekiel, I want you to help me with this next part. I have this new box, right? I've got 15 Ezekiel. If I go to all of my groups and I give them one piece, I give away five pieces. Do I have enough to do that, Ezekiel? Yes. All right. If I go around and I give them a second piece, I'd give away 10 pieces. Do I have enough to give away, Ezekiel? 
Yes. Okay, if I go around and give them one more piece, that's 15. Can I give away 15 pieces, Ezekiel? Yes. Yes. If I go around and give them another, I would need 20 pieces. Do I have enough, Ezekiel? No. No. So I can't give them four pieces. I have to go and only give them three. Three pieces. So one, two, three. If they all get three pieces, I'm giving away 15 pieces. Ezekiel, what's 15 minus 15? Zero. Zero. That's all of my pieces. But in division, that's a good thing. I don't want extra leftover pieces. I want all of my pieces to go into my groups, and I don't want any leftover. I don't want any remainders. So my answer for the second homework problem should be 13. Every group got 13 pieces. Our third problem was 32 divided by 4. 32 is a two-digit number. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to split it into two parts. So I have one part for my three, one part for my two. And we're making four groups. Since we're making four groups, I'm going to write my four song right next to my problem to help me out. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36, 40, 44, 48. And again, I'm always writing down my multiplication song on the side of my problem to help me out. That way I can remember it, and that way I can just use it to do my work. It's a lot simpler than always having to go back and try to remember it. So I'm making groups again. This time, I have four groups. Just like the other ones, I'm going to start off with this first box. I've got three pieces in this very first box. I have four groups. If I go around to all of my groups, I would give away four pieces. Noah. Noah, do I have enough in this first box to give away four pieces? No, because three is too small. I can't even give them one piece. They didn't get any pieces from this box. Zero pieces. I gave away nothing. I couldn't give them any pieces from the first box. Noah, what is three minus zero? Three. Three. This is where I check to make sure I didn't make a mistake. I have four groups. I've got three pieces. I know three is less than four. So I know I can't give them any more pieces. I also know that I don't want my three to be lonely down here. So I'm going to move it up. Let it hang out with the two. I have 32. Well, with 32 pieces, I should definitely be able to give away some of these. 
Got 32 pieces in my next box. If I go around to all four of my groups and I give them each one piece, that means I'd give away four pieces. Brianna, do I have enough in this second box to give away four pieces? I don't have enough in this box here to give away four. Yeah, I've got 32. I definitely have enough to give away four. If I go around and give them all a second piece, Brianna, that's eight. Do I have enough here to give away eight pieces? Right. If I give each group three pieces, that means I'd give away twelve. Can I give away? Do I have enough here to give away twelve pieces, Brianna? If I have thirty-two pieces, can I give away twelve? Which one's bigger, Brianna, 12 or 32? 32. So if I'm just gonna give away 12 pieces, I definitely have enough to give away 12. I even have extra, I can still try to give away some more. If I go around to every group and give them another piece, that's 16. Do I have enough here to give away 16 pieces? Yeah, still I can go, I can keep going. If I give them another piece, every single group, that's 20 pieces. And I give away 20 pieces from the second box. All right, let's try again, let's go, let's go higher. If I give each one another one, that's 24. And I give away 24 pieces from the second box. Yeah, let's try again. I give them another one, it's 28. Do I have enough to give away 28 pieces from the second box? Yep. Let me go one more. If I give away another one, every group gets another one. That's 32 pieces. Can I give away 32 pieces from the second box? Yeah. Let's go some more. I give each one another one. 36. Do I have enough in the second box to give away 36 pieces? No. Okay, that's a little bit too much. If I can't give them 36, I can't give away that many. But I can go one backwards. I can give away 32 pieces. So that means every single group got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Every single group got eight pieces out of that second box. So I gave away, I subtracted. 32 pieces and Brianna if I have 32 and I take away 32 32 minus 32 what would that give me zero I'd have no pieces left over that's good because again in division I don't want any leftover So my answer would be eight. And like Jadeen said earlier, I could say eight with a remainder of zero, or I could just say eight.